Hey guys, Ben from Born to Build here. We are back again for another episode of Passion Projects. And just like I promised, we have something a little bit more family friendly for you today. It's not broken, we've got to go get fuel, but it's not broken today. So, uh, we're here with Gav in the back, and he has his RB25 T400 auto swapped stagia wagon, and it's going to blow your socks off. Let's go! <laughs> All right, Gav, mate, we've made it. We're finally here. We're finally doing a video on your car. What's what's behind you there? Hey, guys, I'm Gav. Um, this is my RB25 Neo Stager um, all-wheel drive TH400. Um, she's pushing about 650 horsepower. Um, yeah. All right, man, that sounds wicked. Let's dive in and have a closer look at this thing. Okay, right, man, so you can do groceries and go fast, but what is hiding under that bonnet and what what gives you that 650 horses? Um, well, it's just an unopened Neo 25, essentially. It's just got head studs and gasket. I guess the power delivery comes from the, the 6 Boost, the G Series, um, G35 1050 with the 101. Um, the intake's got the stock runners with the husband man top tank and drive-by wire. Um, powered with that Link ECU, yeah, she's... um. She's all, all rock and roll under the bonnet there. We got, what have we got? ID 1700cc injectors, radium fuel rail, all the good stuff. Yeah, so keep it simple, stupid, and that's what RBs yeah. do, they just give you power. Yeah, definitely. Um, considering it's unopened, we're sort of pushing the limits, I guess, of what it should and shouldn't do, but um, we're all very surprised and very happy with the results. It's, it's a great motor. I would rate it. Yeah, well, there you go. I'm surprised. I can't wait to go for a drive. <laughs> So 650 horse out of a little old lot 2.56, that's pretty cool, um, especially to an all-wheel drive setup. So what have you got in terms of your running gear um, to deliver that to the ground? Well, it was one of those nights where the boys said, just auto swap it. So down the rabbit hole we went and we got a TH400 built locally by the guys at Brinks. Um, we made it with an all-wheel drive, all drive prototype adapter and um, some custom one-piece shafts and big dominator converter and B&M shifter we managed to make work. A bit, bit of custom stuff going on with the cross member and a bit of custom work in the tunnel, but um, it's built for 1500 horsepower, so well beyond what we're gonna use it for. Um, I guess that just helps us step ahead with more power. Other than that, it's all sort of stock axles, stock diff. We haven't really touched any ratios. Um, again, still stock CVs, we haven't broken any yet, so. The drivetrain is, again, doing above and beyond expectations. That's unreal. Nothing, nothing I love more than balling on a budget. So I'm actually super impressed that that has held up with 650 horse to all four. That's just unreal. Well, it looks sick. It sounds cool. It's, it can get groceries on a Sunday and drag on a Monday. But you can't help but notice those big old balls of rubber hanging off, hanging off those hubs. What have we got there to to really solidify that traction. So they're, um, they're a 15 by eight P1 Buddy Club. Um, they're a new addition to the car. We only added them a month ago. We were, we were struggling for power, power delivery, um, I guess, off the trans brake. So we swapped from a semi-slick to a full, a full radial, a 60 inch tall tire and yeah, now she's down to those 1660 foots where we want it. So yeah, we had to have full radials to make this car do what we wanted to do, I guess. As weird as it looks, they, they work. <laughs> to be honest, I actually love it. I love the drag spec mum wagon, dad, or dad wagon for yeah. this one. And everyone knows that I love a hot wagon because I've had multiple. But how about you and me go for a spin? Let's do it, let's do it. It's a great right. car. All right, let's go. 
But before we go for a drive, I did get a bit carried away. Um, normally there's someone, there's someone in, the, in the corner, or there's a shop in the corner that's really helped you through, uh, like bits and pieces or like, you know, engine builds, transmissions, all that kind of stuff. Now you did mention Brinks for the box, but who else has helped you for this? Yeah, we've had um, a bit of local help, but um, I guess probably 90% of this build we've sort of done in the shed ourselves. Um, me and a couple of the lads, but you've, you've featured a few of them. We've countless hours, I suppose you couldn't count the hours we spent on this car building it. Um, lately we've got it down to the fine tuning of hunting the gremlins and TMS is the obvious choice in Townsville, so they've been helping us and they love the car. Um, they have serviced the gearbox for us and all their wiring these days, so... Um, but we try to do a lot of it ourselves, um, just because we so we know what's going on with the car ourselves as well, I guess. That's cool. That is a that is a proper passion project, and we all know that that's what this is all about, is building cool cars. And obviously, yeah, this is where I come in and I get to share those cool passion projects and those cars with the wider community. So really appreciate this, but now let's go for a drive, because I am itching. For a built car with a bit of an experiment box mount and uh, pretty much been built in a shed. This actually thing that drives unreal. It drives smooth, it's not too clunky, there's a little bit of noise but actually this thing could definitely be a daily driver. Who do you um, who do you have to thank for this drivability I suppose, Gap? You could thank the team have a go of us in the shed I guess. Um, as you said it was a bit of an experiment. Sort of just winged it, and then we've got actually Ryan helped us create the crossover. It helped us fab it up. Big shout out to Ryan. Um, but yeah, Boyd and myself and Jason, and just have a go in the shed team. <laughs> That's cool. Um, and obviously, like it drives real nice. It's tuned really well. Um, who's obviously who's behind that? Oh my, oh my tuner, John O'Pace in Mackay. Uh, we were we were remote tuned this car. Um, with the link to you. Um, he's got this car purring like a kitten, which has got gear selectors all for the ECU. Uh, he is a wizard, that guy. I love him. John O'Pay. Easy, easy. Well, hopefully this traffic dies down and we can give this thing a bit of a, a bit of a whoop on a private road that we have to find. Oh, let's see what this thing's made of. Is phenomenal. What a toot. What an absolute toot. <laughs> I need my fast car back. I need something fun again, because oh damn, I missed this. I missed this. Taking donations for the Barrow, don't forget. Gavin, this thing's wicked, I love it. I absolutely love it. Finally, we got it. Trans brake is what makes everybody <laughs> smile, the trans brake. Gotta love it. Oh. All right, guys. Private roads, don't forget private roads. Stay safe. 
This has been Unreal, Gavin. Thank you so much for this. Thank you. No worries, mate. Enjoy. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Guys, that is another episode of Born to Build Passion Projects done with Gavin, his mum slash dad bus and his grocery getter. Oh, you won't be able to wipe the smile off my face for weeks. But if you guys have a car, Brisbane, Sunshine Coast, Gold Coast, Cairns, Mackay, Townsville, Airlie Beach, anywhere like around those areas, I'm down in Brisbane pretty often. I'm in Townsville almost all the time. Morgan's down south, so just hit us up. If you have a cool car, we want to feature it. And to be honest, we want to go for a drive in it. Let's be real, I just want to go for a drive in a fast car. But like, subscribe, share, share. Uh, thanks again for the support and the views and everyone else messaging us um, about the cars we do. We can't do this without you because, well, we could, um, but we couldn't share it. So here we are. Thanks again, guys. Thank you very much, Gav. No worries, hope you enjoyed my 10 second dab wagon. Oh yeah, it does 10 second quarters on the draggy. So when it when it does a real run, we will update you. Thanks again guys, Ben from Born to Build. Checking out, going to bed. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait.